We're rolling. We're rolling. I just got a mat. I got a mat. That was very exciting. Brushing out the doggies? Uh, just a little bit. Not quite ready for their coats to come out, their double coats to come out, but... Oh, they're ready for it. <laughs> well, they're ready for it, but their no. body isn't quite released it yet. No, not yet. So Hi, I just everybody. felt a couple mats in his tail. Oh, there's another one. So I just wanted to... He's like, I don't like this, Mom. Yeah, he's like, Mama. <laughs> Mama, maybe another time. He's yeah. like, there's too much going on. Too much, too much he, going on. He prefers it when it's just the two of us. Uh, I'm gonna go set this in the trash. Okay. I don't wanna carry it with me. Let's start with the weekend. Let's start with today. Today was, uh, today was a day, so. <laughs> it was a day. Yeah, it was a day. Like every other like day. Like every other day. Um, I was supposed to take Levi in to get his rabies shot. Do you want to just put that away or are you going to keep going? Oh, I can just put it away. And I decided to switch it up and actually took Winston in instead. And the reason is on, I think it was Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night. Um, found out that Winston had, he, he, He'd been a naughty boy. Well, he, he was he was curious. So, um, you know, so I put, I can't speak today. Uh, I put the chicken, I put the pig bones in the chicken coops for them to clean it off. And then I was going to pick up the pig bones and then do something with them. And I was going to do that yesterday. Well, the night before I was able to pick all, pick all them up. One of the chicken nettings kind of fell from some high winds that we had. And he took the opportunity to go in there and grab a couple of the bones. Uh -huh. And they weren't like ankle bones or bones that would have been semi-okay for him to eat. They were either really fragile bones. And so- That shattered. That shattered. So we basically found him eating the bones and there were just tiny fragments all around him, very sharp, tiny fragments. Uh, yesterday, he seemed fine, but I just wanted to make sure anyway. So yeah. I switched it up took him to the vet, we did an x-ray. There's little shards, little fragments. fragments of bone in his GI tract. It looks like it's coming out. He doesn't have any symptoms or signs that he's um, having that issues. He's having issues and he's <laughs> yeah. not gonna be able to pass it. But uh, so I switched it up. I was hoping to get his vaccines today, but they said <laughs> they didn't want to do the vaccines because they want to know that if he starts getting lethargic, it's it would be due to the the issues with the bones. And if he got lethargic, we wouldn't know if it was the vaccines or the or the bones. So anyway, so he's gonna go, Mr. Levi is gonna go and get his vaccines on Wednesday and I have to reschedule for Winston to get his updated vaccines. Yeah, and one thing that we found when we take one of them off property. Oh my goodness, yeah. Every single time when the other comes back, they do the hierarchy for dominance again. And it gets to the point where it's really scary because yes. they, I mean, Levi was submitting completely and like, okay, buddy, you're back. You're yep. your top boss. And Winston wasn't stopping. No. And so it's a little, so we have to keep Kinsley in the house, but then we also want to, you know, we want it to run its course and let them do their thing, but we also don't want them to hurt each other. So we're monitoring and trying to yeah, make sure, it's, but it's, it's a little, it, it, yeah, it's, it's a little much. It, it's a bit much. Yeah. So, so. All right, so we don't like all these extra having to do trips off no, the homestead with them. No, and our vet will come onto the homestead and do vaccines, but we're debating whether that's or do medical appointments. We're debating if that's a good idea or not because we don't want to introduce the idea that if somebody comes on the property, they possibly could be coming on the property for them to do things to them that they don't like. I kind of want to segregate between going off property as oh, that's no fun versus yeah. having visitors come on property like, oh, oh that's is, not good either. Yeah, <laughs> so, like, this is this is okay. Yeah, and, exactly. So, yeah. Um, and then I did some more work in the house today in preparation for Wilson to come over tomorrow and we're gonna do uh, some, <laughs> some uh, major work in the house tomorrow. So okay. that kind of updates today. One, one more. One more, What's what else do we got for today for an update, honey? Well, I just wanna share these little girls, so these are our frizzle cochins, and those two are the ones that are actually frizzled. And these two are frizzle oh cochins, but they're broody little girls. And they don't have a rooster with them. Uh, we sold the 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're they're broody little girls. Don't touch me. They're they're a little nervous, but so there's no fertilized eggs, and I can't you know have a heartbroken mama chick that sits on eggs for 21 days without. So I've been switching them out, and so they have fertilized eggs that are not theirs with full gro full size <laughs> chickens from that group over here. From our original. <laughs> from our OG. Our OG. <laughs> So black Osterlorp dad, and then various heritage breed moms. So, one's for sure, Olivia's. Mm, nice. Um, I, I did not put Misty's in there, um, but I do believe, I did put Karen's in, she's a Norm Moran. So it, it, probably a solid black one for sure with a black Osterlorp and a Norm Moran. And then uh, I think I put in a speckled Sussex one as well. So that's exciting. Yeah. We have eggs everywhere. We do have eggs everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Incubating everywhere. So if we're going to continue on through the weekend, yesterday was our busiest day of the weekend, I think. I don't remember what we did Friday. We'll get there. Yesterday. <laughs> I don't remember what we did yesterday. <laughs> oh, at night. No, yesterday, no, yesterday was a very busy day. <laughs> um, so I built the sheep paddock, a very, very large sheep paddock on that side of the property. Mm -hmm. And you probably noticed as we were walking here, <laughs> The sheep are out. They got out of the, they got out of the sheep paddock. But anyway, they have a very large paddock that basically goes from the gray barn all the way over to the red barn and from the gray barn to the house. And so it's a very large area. Most of it is is just woods where it's not going to have a lot of grass, but there are we've walked through it several mm -hmm. times. Um, there are areas where there's quite a bit of stuff for them to eat but they're getting used to being close to us. Yeah. And so they like to be out in this area. And today when we had the fence off because the guys were working, clearing the fence line, um, they got out, they tested the fence and they got out. So we're gonna put them back in tonight. Um, so in addition to that, we also did some chicken moves <laughs> yesterday and we also cleaned up the fence line and electrified the fence for the four coops that are up by the pond yeah. because we kept having chickens get out. We kept the black ostrilorps are getting out, the leg bars were getting mm -hmm. out. Uh, actually the the Rhode Island the Reds, they were staying. They were the only ones that were content in their little And then we had groups. a couple of the free rangers that are gonna that are up there getting out. And so we were tired of chasing them down. Well and we've had a lot of falcon and hawk activity. Yeah. Um, that I, I can see out my work window. I can I have like almost a, peer, a shot through the woods over to the where those coops are. So I was have been getting nervous, mm -hmm. you know, with because the dogs aren't always over on that side because we have the animals pretty far spread apart. So they kind of patrol a little bit, but they also don't do full um, yeah. protection during the day that's way too bright sorry okay well yeah yeah it's, you're just shadowed and so, <laughs> that's okay <laughs> well it was okay we, for you but it was okay they don't need to see my face so uh, so then and then after we built the paddock cleaned up the fence line for the chicken runs um we then came down here and we moved a bunch of chickens yeah so here all that's left in here are with the exception of two hens that ironically I think are inside right now. <laughs> oh no, there's one. Yeah, there's there, nobody, there they there's are. There's nobody in here. Okay, I just, I see her now. So this, the white hen with the black bottom right there in between the two white roosters. Mm -hmm. And then there's the, the kind of blackish looking one in the back with all the Rhode Island reds. Mm -hmm. Those two we're keeping, everyone else in here is for sale. Uh, so we've got laying hens and roosters and pullets. Oh. So black Osterlorps, a couple barnyard mix, and Rhode Island Reds. And then, oh, I guess we are keeping that big, tall, goony one in front, him. Yeah, the meat bird, <laughs> the meat bird cross. He's a meat bird Rhode Island cross, the I think rooster. You, I wonder if you have two meat bird Rhode Island crosses, or is it just? No, it's just him. It's just the one. Mm -hmm. It's much calmer in here now. It is very calm in here. So we ended up removing out of this flock uh, nine cochins and those went up to the breeding flocks up on the hill. And then this one, because of the salmon favorals, I've been getting a ton of requests for eggs from them and also baby chicks from them. And if you all remember, I did have 
another set in here. We had the Buckeyes in here and those three black Australorp females that are now, that we just showed you, they were in here. So what I did is I separated them. So we only have the one rooster and the 10 hens and these will be quarantined for two weeks to ensure that they are only <laughs> purebred. And then we will be able to start um, incubating some eggs for the, for the baby chicks. But faces. those of you who watch the modern yeoman, uh, he had hatched out 11 of our eggs here this last week and the white-ish yellow one that had fluffy feet that he mentioned, it was, it was one of um, the male, the rooster was a salmon feverel. Their beards are awesome. They're hilarious. I love his because it's black. Yeah. Maybe we should name him Blackbeard. Oh, that's a good idea. I like it. There <laughs> it's you like, go. We don't typically name all of the breeding pair. Like, I like having maybe the bearded ladies or something. Yeah. Like the, right. I like to have group that's, names. That's the circus over there. Yeah, there you go. Yes. <laughs> Blackbeard and his bearded ladies. Uh -huh. Um, but yeah, so we got all those moved and then, so that'll help us make sure to keep the flocks I separate. Lay, I shenanigans. Yeah, we definitely have one very broody shenanigan. Oh yeah. She's been, she's, I think she's actually going to sit now. Yeah. I think so too, because she just, she just stays in the doghouse right there. Yeah. I, I had, I had watched her. I wonder if we should give her more eggs because we took a whole bunch from her and we only left an old one in there. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but anyway, uh, I had told Nate, I was like, I was watching her and she was, uh, she was going from the nest that's in the, on the other side of the pool. And she literally was bringing bedding out and creating a line so that she could walk it and she'd pick it up and she'd put it behind her butt and she'd walk it and put it behind her butt. And then, so she kept moving the line forward so that she could put more material in her doghouse, which she's using. So I went and I grabbed her a big thing of uh, hay that uh, the sheep didn't eat that had, you know, we weren't gonna try to refeed them. And so <laughs> I was able to put that near and then I saw her taking a whole bunch of it. So she's made, now it's very full. Good. <laughs> she kind of took it from the Rhode Island Reds. That was their little private area that we gave them when uh, the one had gotten attacked, but it's completely fine and healed now. So we just need to figure out which uh, Which group they're gonna it's gonna go with yeah. You gonna show the Buckeyes yep. Yeah, so the ones that we moved out of the Cochins are the Buckeyes and they got their own nice grassy area I think they scored mm -hmm. <laughs> The rooster didn't think so I think he's coming around. He's fine now. <laughs> a little confused this morning. Yeah, we put them in here last night and the rooster was not having it. He was not happy at all. And this morning I found him back where we took him from last night. He had jumped over somehow and made it back into the second beaver coop where we just were, <laughs> where the salmon favorals are. So I put him back out here tonight or today. This is on, by the way. Yeah, I, I can hear it. Electrified. So this is now just Buckeyes, and in two weeks we can do the same thing, right? Yep, in two weeks we will have, uh, so they have their nesting boxes, and today I checked in the salmon favorals, there was two eggs today. Oh good. So I was super excited, and then uh, I haven't checked in here yet, but yeah, in two weeks we'll be able to have uh, just Buckeyes available, which if you all are looking at them, they look very similar to a Rhode Island Red, but they're deeper color and they have really black tails. And from our OG state, the one that's always out and about, one of our free rangers, they're super curious birds. Hi girls, but they're we, awesome, awesome foragers. We really like the hens, mm -hmm. the buckeye hens. We're not a huge fan of the buckeye roosters. They're a little... They're weird. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not bit, aggressive. They're, no, no, they're just a bit much. Oh, two eggs. Oh, good. I need to clean those nesting boxes out. Yeah, two eggs. I didn't. <laughs> I don't think I caught that before you put them in there. All right, cool. Yeah. And then 
the coaches. Will you grab the? Oh, turn it back on. Turn it on, yeah. In the last move we did was this far one. <laughs> you don't need to stop, Kinsley. The Brahma Mamas. I just grabbed 12 of their eggs to incubate. Nice. So those will go in the incubator tonight. I'm letting them all get to temp. And then the, these guys, <laughs> it's a big group now. It is a big group now. So it was only three, the three black females in that um, silver laced male right there. And then one silver laced female that's inside. Yeah, and so then she's the only black and white one in there. And so last night we added all of the, they're kind of like a black with red <laughs> lacing. Yeah. And then the two gray ones, one's a rooster and one's a hen. So this is the hen right here. Such a good looking hen. She's pretty. The rooster's gorgeous. Yeah. There She's was a little bit of a turf war. Yeah. It wasn't bad, but a little bit of one. So they're just keeping their distance. It's, I'm trying to get good pictures of them, good shots of them, but it's so bright. <laughs> and they move. <clears throat> yeah, they just look like black blobs right now. <laughs> yeah, this, this run has definitely gotten much busier. Yeah, it, it, all the other ones calmed down. This one's kind of been. It's still pretty calm though, which is nice. Maybe there. this pile will actually get spread out now. Yeah. And the reason I was okay putting the two roosters together is Cochin's very much like Brahma's. You can have multiple roosters in as long as your hen ratio is okay. And for Cochin's, typically a good ratio is five or six hens. Oh, wow. So there's more than enough hens for these two. Yeah, they don't require a lot of hens then. The they're, they're just not as good about keeping up with it. Yeah. Like our Osterlorp over there, over there, he's great with all 12 of his, but um, but yeah, once you, just different, different roosters and different breeds. They're funny though. Let's see how everybody's holding up. They're not liking the shock factor. No, they're staying in the coop. <laughs> no, they were out today and I kept hearing them get shocked. <laughs> They're still learning. Well, there's a lot in their coop. <clears throat> Good, I'm glad. That's, let's see, the test is, yep, the bard, she's in. Yep. Good. She's, she's been our escape artist. Yes, she is. She is an escape artist. Good, this is great. Yeah, so, whoop. <laughs> yeah, so this, this group right here, this is the group I was talking about that Sean just hatched out and that blonde fuzzy fur footed one. Cause see the, I don't know if you can see the rooster's feet. Probably not very detailed. But he's furry feet with five toes. Yeah. And so pretty, that's, and that's then- a good giveaway is five toes is a- coat Is, is a, a uh, favorel. Favorel, yeah. They have that extra, looks like a sp spur, but it's not, it's an extra toe. So I ended up setting up the, our original fence charger that we bought two years ago. Uh, powered by just a 12 volt battery. Um, I really like the Cyclops brand. This worked very, very well for us. And I'm charging this battery with this 20 watt solar charger. And it has a, uh, a built-in charger battery maintainer. It's waterproof. I had something similar like this, but the controller wasn't waterproof and I just didn't keep it out of the water well enough. So I had to replace it. Seems to be working pretty well. Uh, so that one charger is charging this fence and this fence. And I have a cross wire right over here. You can see it here. So it's just a cross wire going between the two. And then we, on all of the fence lines, we took them all up. We raked all of the material away from the fence line, took the big material like this kind of stuff that doesn't break down very well. Took that mostly out of all of the coops, not 100%, but mostly, but really cleaned it up and mm -hmm. then restretched this so it doesn't drag on the ground and there's not a big enough gap for them to crawl underneath like they had been without doing. Without getting hit. Without, yeah. yeah, without getting hit, yeah. 
So uh, I had to redo this one a little bit. That's why it's coming out like this. I can hear it hitting. I'm not sure where. Probably right there. I need to find a good way to uh, bring the net down to the ground. Maybe some of those hardware staples or something, landscape staples. Because sometimes they curl up and it creates a... <laughs> all of the leg bars yeah, they're all are hiding, uh -huh. but the one Osterlorp. Uh -huh. So I'll, I'll clarify because I just said we're keeping sexes separate so I can incubate eggs and make sure Oh, they just yeah, they just got it. <laughs> She's in here because she was getting picked on by her other group, and this group accepted her. And I'm not worried at all because obviously she's a hen. She lays brown eggs. Cream leg bars lay blue eggs. Very distinguishable. Very distinguishable eggs. There's no chance of me, oops, accidentally selling an Osterlorp uh, leg bar. However, it does give me an option of knowing specifically that I do have a very specific barnyard mix should I choose to do an Osterlorp leg bar. Yeah. Because I want to have all different colored ones with the big poofy heads. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd <laughs> I be think really, that'd be so fun. That'd be really neat. Yeah, see we, how much we cleaned up around yeah, here. So I mean, much. This pile of these really big sticks, this is from the mulching that uh, Matthew did when he... Over a year ago. Uh, yeah, over a year ago, yeah. So, did the same thing. I tethered so this, this run and this run are powered by that charger right over there. And I just tethered them together the same way. This also acts as pulling this one forward because that that's the one that Blanche got her head stuck in. Uh, and so it's Sophia. All, Sophia, and so, we, so it tilts forward. So mm -hmm. it's pulling it back. She broke it and I had to cut her free. It was when Nate was gone. I don't know if we talked about it too terribly much, but that I heard the chickens freaking out and I couldn't figure out what was going on. And I went up to check out the ones on the hill mm -hmm. and something in my gut told me to come up here and I did and they were making a lot of noise but I couldn't see anything and I happened to come around the corner and all the sheep were standing here. And Sophia not only was stuck, she was... Blanche. Sophia. Oh, it was Sophia. It was Sophia. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she had her head through, she had her legs through <laughs> and she was... Thankfully, it was not charged Yeah. at the time. It was it was just a fence. And she was trying to get, because we feed them treats, and so she was trying to get scratch. <sighs> and I ended, and I'm home alone, and y'all remember how big Sophia was? She was like 150, 175-pound chicken. She was a big girl. And so Katie here trying to physically wrestle her out of a net, and <laughs> thankfully, I had scissors up here from when we had trimmed the wings. Yeah and I just cut the net. It was the only way I could safely and easily get yeah. her out. Because yep. I really thought she was gonna strangle herself. Yep. So yeah, that was fun. That was fun. And then these guys. Yeah, so now we have these black ostrilorps, they're staying in. Yes. Last night when we got this fence. <laughs> when we were putting it in. <laughs> when we, yeah, when we were, and when I got the fence charger put in for, for, I don't know, an hour, they kept testing the fence. And they just kept going up against it and against it and against it and against it. And like, you know, all right, they'll, they'll learn. But yeah, it looks like they've stopped and now they're not getting out. Because when we were, oh, you just got some pine. Uh, when we were cleaning it out, we looked over and Nate's like, why are there chickens in the woods? And I'm like, yeah. what are you talking about? I look over and there was three Osterlorps over yeah, there. over there, under those. <laughs> so so we were, we're done with the whole uh, chickens getting out. Yeah, plus with the whole it's it's yeah for their it's safety for safety plus it's starting to become spring we're going to have a little more mm -hmm. it's just gonna be stuff it's just not worth it so no. it's charged we feel better about it it seems to be keeping them in and it should in case any other animals get on our property or close enough to our animals it should hopefully keep them out also because i know a dog hitting it would uh not be happy <laughs> so, all right. Anything else, babe? 
Well, we didn't talk about Saturday and Friday. That was just, that was just oh. these last two days. That was just these last two days, okay. So Saturday was pretty easy because it was rainy and really just nasty yeah. weather. It was an inside day. It was an inside day. So it, it was a very boring inside day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were actually so bored that you're like, yeah, I'll come to town with you because I had to go. I made a delivery for some chicken egg cells, fertilized egg cells. Yeah. I met somebody in town. Um, and so he's like, yes, yes, I'll come with you. And yeah. I was like, oh, you really are bored. <laughs> yeah, so I just, I, inside days, I just, I can't, I can't do it. It's so hard. And Friday, it was your day off. Yes. And you went to town. Oh, I looked at the, I looked at the tractor. Uh -huh. I think we talked about those already. We already talked about Friday. We don't need to talk about it. We did that. That was last vlog. They already know. Yeah, on Friday. Saturday. Yeah. yeah. That's so, what I thought. Yeah. So anyway, that's that's the weekend. Uh, a lot accomplished. Things are... Yeah. I don't think we filmed any of it. No. Not a single thing. No. No. <laughs> uh, no. Just... It was just... just there's to, a lot to do. Just and, wanted to get stuff done. Yeah. So... Oh yeah, see they're on the pile. Nice. Good. Good, good. Yeah. So speaking of tractor, still not 100% done, 100% <laughs> convinced that, that uh, that's the right tractor. <laughs> I don't think you'll ever be 100% convinced. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. 80% is good enough, and you said you were at 90. <laughs> so let's do it. I'm just, I, I did email, so I, I want to know <laughs> the price on some attachments. Mm -hmm. So I'm waiting for that. So things are, it's still in motion. Yeah. But. I haven't fully convinced myself. Anyway. So, anyway. That's that's the haps. That's what the weekend <laughs> and today look like. Tomorrow, get some housework done, which should be great. And then mm -hmm. I need to. I really need to get myself to take a bunch of stuff to the landfill. I have yes. so much construction material, just yeah. ready to go, and I'm just delaying. I don't know why I have this mental block about doing it, but I really don't want to do it. Well, if you need my help, it's this week. Okay, great. Because if not, because, I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. We're going to try to get the sheep back into their new paddock. <laughs> we'll show you the new paddock tomorrow. Yeah. Because uh, we're already at almost 30 minutes on this one. Yeah. So, I think that's it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Nate buzzed his hair, by the way. Oh, yeah. I got a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> I was... Which you, 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 you noticed already, but I was so sick of just, it, my hair grows so fast. And, yeah. <laughs> and getting a proper haircut, like a, like a shaped haircut, it's yeah. just, it's just, it just doesn't happen a lot. And I don't want to pay for it. By the time that it's like available to do it, we're both exhausted. So and I'm, I'm just, an amateur. No, you do fine. <laughs> Most of the time you do great. But uh, anyway, so I just like, I'm just going to buzz it. Yeah. And if it doesn't look good, oh well, it'll grow back. That's what I said to him. Like, it's your hair. It'll grow back. Yeah. yeah. All right. Who am I trying to impress? Anyway. Obviously we not see... me. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Turning a little red on that one, babe. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> hey, buddy. Why do you guys got so many sticks in your tails? I already got the ring on the finger. What else do I need? <laughs> <laughs>